Brushes is a great drawing and painting app for the iPad. It's also available for the iPhone. And uh, if you go to brushesapp.com, you can see a whole bunch of stuff, uh, artwork and uh, a gallery of artwork and things that have been created. Uh, uh, George Colombo uh, made uh, two illustrations that were covers for The New Yorker uh, using brushes, painting with his finger on an iPad or possibly even an iPhone. So let's take a look at the Brushes app. Here's the icon. We tap the icon for Brushes and we open it up. And this is something I doodled just to kind of learn all the features uh, and be able to tell them to you. So I'll show you all the drawing uh, and painting features in a minute. One of the cool things about Brushes as an app, uh, see this little play button icon right here? Uh, when you're in the gallery mode originally and you have works that you uh, can, can look at, uh, you can uh, push play and it'll, it'll show you the entire creation of your, your work. So you can see the entire creation process, including things that uh, didn't work, some experiments that were painted out. Uh, so I think that's a pretty interesting feature that's a, a bonus for brushes. But the best thing about brushes, I think, is that it's very full featured. It has multiple layers so that you can create things without messing up other things that you created, uh, which is an important consideration when you're painting with your fingers. Uh, and also, it's very easy to use. I think most people could pick it up from scratch and just start working without any problem. And by the way, this is also uh, a great tool for doing uh, little thumbnail sketches for compositions, just mapping out the shapes and the relationships. So keep brushes in mind uh, for a, a simple, straightforward sketchbook when you're making a bunch of, uh, bunch of thumbnails and trying to work on a composition. Besides the playback feature, you can forward it or email it, copy the image, uh, send a Flickr, so there's all kinds of features there. Uh, you could throw it away if you didn't like it. You can view all of your images. I only have three because I'm just making them to demonstrate for you. And we can add a new image, the little plus. So let's cover a few of the basic features in brushes. First, mixing color. You see the little color tab over here. It's white by default. We tap on it. We have the uh, RGB color wheel here uh, for uh, digital color. We have a bunch of selected colors here, but we can also make a color by moving the color wheel over here, and then we can adjust the lightness or darkness of the color, and we can adjust the transparency of the color. And making things a little bit transparent uh, as a brush uh, lets you blend colors uh, a lot easier. Kind of like glazing with transparent colors, you know, mixing with linseed oil and traditional oil painting. You'll notice when I adjusted the opacity of the color, then a diagonal line came across and now there's two colors. On the left half of the diagonal, you see the color that we just mixed, and then you see the right side, uh, what the color would be at that level of opacity. So if we want to save the color that we've mixed, I like that, so I'll just drag it over here. And you can see, you can make a mark, and there's different kinds of brushes. And uh, even though the iPad is not touch sensitive, you can see that looks like it is touch sensitive, right? And it can mimic touch sensitivity. The brush settings over here, uh, this is the brush tool, but the brush settings over here, uh, one of the things you can do very size with speed and very opacity with speed. So I have both of those on. So it's as if, uh, you know, when I slowed down or lifted my finger up, then it changed thickness, right? So you can get a pretty organic feeling and you know I've had people try this out and swear it was touch sensitive because of this, but it is not, but it feels like it. So it has a really organic uh, feel to it, right? So I scribbled all over here, I showed you mark making and that was hopefully helpful, but I want to get rid of all this stuff that I made. Uh, so we're going to skip to the icon all the way over here, which is layers. And this is important uh, with these layers uh, because you can add a layer, subtract a layer, and uh, when you add a layer, it lets you have essentially an overlay, like in Photoshop, so that you can create new stuff. Only things on that layer will be affected. So you could get rid of that layer, for instance, or change it and modify the things on the layer without affecting any of the other layers. So it gives you a lot more control. Uh, it's really important and necessary when you're painting on an iPad, especially. 
Okay, so we want to get rid of these scribbles. You'll notice we have a base layer and then we have this transparent layer with all the scribbles. That's selected, right? It's blue, so I'll hit the trash can, goes away. So now I'll add a new layer and we'll go back to our experimentation, okay? So uh, another thing I want to say about the brushes, I'll do a dark color. Another thing I want to say about the brushes, uh, when we go over here to adjust the brush, you'll notice there's all different kinds of brushes. You can have just a solid stroke, right? And uh, if you took the uh, very size with speed and very opacity with speed, then you get something that's very straightforward as a line, right? And there's all kinds of textural things. Uh, let's do this. And you can adjust the spacing and make it different to find something that's very distinctive for you. That's pretty distinctive. Okay, So there's all kinds of little decorative brushes you can uh, use and modify uh, as well. Okay, So those are all, all of the settings are in here and the brush size is in here. So you can get very precise. Let's delete that layer one more time and make another layer. Okay, And uh, let's say we want to fill it with a color and we'll fill it with a color that is, uh, say, this color. And we can use uh, the bucket. We just clicked on it, and there it is. So we have a whole layer that's nothing but that color. Okay, and I'm making a new layer over here uh, to draw on. I'll draw with, uh, with black. And how, again, do you get precise with, uh, with the colors? Well, one, you can adjust the size, right? And the second thing you can do is you can zoom in. You can zoom in on your drawing. Let me pick a standard brush for you here. And I'll make this like this. I want to draw with a standard brush. So I'll just draw I'll just draw a cartoony face really quick so I'm not keeping you. Okay? So let's say we've drawn this face and we want to get a lot more detail than we we've gotten in there. So you can simply uh go like this, right? And you're making it bigger and then you can work on it uh in more, in more detail. Right? So you can do uh, things that are, uh, are, are pretty detailed. Again, I won't take the time you know, uh, to show you, but you can add a lot of detail by just zooming in and you can adjust that brush size. You just tap to get the tool back and I'll make a really tiny brush. Let's see if I can do it with just a couple pixels. My great work here. All right, so then you know you could add another, another layer, right? And you can also drag the order of the layers. So for instance, I can make this new layer underneath my other layer. So if I wanted to color uh, the the layer and start painting uh, into it, and bigger brush, maybe a paintier brush, and we can color with our fingers. Let's say I didn't like the coloring that I just did. I can hit this little icon, this little spirally backwards arrow, and undo. Or I can redo. Simple as that. Undo, undo, undo. Redo, redo, redo. Let's see. I can make a darker color for the shadows. Okay. So we could paint and paint and paint on this. Uh, let's go back to the gallery momentarily and make a new one. So you can import photos also. I'm going to go to our photos. Here the little photos app icon. Go to the camera roll and I'll pick up this dolphin from the internet. And you don't grab it by the corner. It looks like you should, but you don't. You can move it around and you can stretch it just by going like this and position the photo for photo reference if you wanted to. So you could paint right over a, a photo. Except. So uh, that's on one layer and then you could go to another layer plus and uh, you could paint on it and you could sample colors from the dolphin and let's paint with the, the brush that's there but you could paint with that color. 
and I'll, I'll paint over here so you can see that I am painting. Okay, so you could you could mix uh, a paint and a photograph and, and modify a photograph that way. Undo. And the other icon here, this little gear, you click on this. You can set the properties for it, uh, the title, uh, name of the artist. Uh, you can tap the preview to set the orientation. Yep, that's the way. And uh, we'll be done with that. And then uh, the other thing you can do with this is you can duplicate. You can make another copy. Like let's say you made a dolphin painting and then you wanted to really go off and, and add some other stuff on it, uh, but you wanted to save your original in case your experiment didn't work. So you can duplicate, duplicate, and you'll just see a little page turn animation there. So there's a new copy of it. Uh, that you can then go further and experiment. So that's under the gear as well. One other thing that I wanted to say about layers with this image, uh, we've created this new layer for me to show you about the painting, but let's say we're, we're going with a different color. Uh, we'll, go with, uh, we'll go with a light blue. I'm on a new layer, remember, I'm not on the layer with the photo, or I would destroy the photo, but I could take this little bucket, fill the whole thing with blue, go back to the layers, and the layers have different modes where they react differently with uh, the image, right? Like color, colorizes, or I could do normal, and it's completely opaque, but I can adjust the opacity, make it more transparent, more see-through, right? So layers can interact with other layers in different ways. They can be transparent, they can have different modes where they react differently. And another way to erase a layer is this little eraser icon inside the layers panel. Click, and it's gone. We just erased the contents of the layer, but it's still there. Uh, if you want to have a really high resolution copy of your uh, work, and you have a Mac, you can do this. You can go to brushesapp.com backslash viewer here, uh, brushesapp.com backslash viewer, and download this free app uh, that's called Brushes Viewer, and Brushes Viewer will allow you to export uh, either the image or the movie I showed you of the creation, the entire creation of your work, but you can export the image in very high resolution, and then you could work on it in, say, Photoshop. But many, many people are creating astoundingly professional illustrations just using brushes, and I, I plan to uh, work on this myself. It's a, a pretty nice, intuitive program, and one of the conveniences of the iPad is you have this little lightweight portable thing that you can sit and sketch just about any place. And one other thing about brushes that I wanted to talk about, I wanted to mention that you can use a stylus. Like I usually like to uh, use my fingers. I really feel like it's just about the same because the stylus is kind of emulating a uh, finger touch anyway. And like I said, you can make things as big or as small as you need. But some people uh, feel more comfortable using a stylus, and the stylus uh, might give you, you know, more uh, more control over what you're uh, you're working on, right? So, uh, I'm a little gestural comic booky figure here. So anyway, you can uh, you can use a stylus if you want, and again, you can adjust the the brush size. You can zoom in. And, and work, and uh, you might find that to be a more uh, uh, something that you like. Again, it's not pressure sensitive, so it's not the same as drawing like on a, a Wacom tablet or anything like that. But um, it is uh, it is an option, and it's an option that people like. And of course, you can also use this for uh, for note taking as well.